Hello everyone. Last time I've given you a tutorial of how regular expression can be used in C11. And we've covered the two APIs, regex match and regex search, which are um, provided by the header file regex. And we've spent most of the time talking about the uh, um, reg regular expression grammars. The regular expression grammars are not something that's particular to C++11. It is a standard regular expression and can be used in any language that support uh, that supports regular expression. However, you need to be careful that there are different flavor of regular expression out there and make sure you are using what you want to use. C++11 provides um, six types of regular expression grammars and by default it is always using the ECMA script regular expression grammar. ECMA script is by far the most powerful regular expression grammar. That is why it is the default. But you can always choose one of the other grammars the basic, extended, awk, grab and egrab. Let's look at an example and say we want to find a string that matches carrot abc dot plus and we know the plus means one or more preceding character so this will match a string that start with abc and then followed by one or more any character so if we run the program so abc that's not a match. A, B, C, D is a match. A, B, C, D, a bunch of different character, it's still match. Now let's say I don't want to use the ECMA regular expression grammar. I want to use the grabs regular expression grammar because I've been using grab all the time and I'm very familiar with it. To do that, all I need to do is add a second parameter to the regular expression constructor. It's called regx constants grab. And now let's run the program. So again we do ABC, that's not a match. ABCD, that's also not a match. So ABCD plus, that is a match. So when we are using a grabs uh, regular expression grammar, the plus is not a special key. It doesn't have the meaning of one or more preceding character. It's just one plus regular character. That is why um, we can do ABC followed by any character and then followed by the plus. This is a match. So this is how the regular expression grammar can be switched to different grammars. The next thing I want to talk about is submatch. This is an example from last time. It's a regular expression to match all the email addresses that end with .com. Now suppose I not only want to find all the email addresses that, uh, that ends with .com, I also want to extract a portion of that email address. I want to extract all the usernames. I want to extract all the domain names. How do I do that? The first thing I need to do is define a group. I define a group for the things that match the username. And then I define a second group to match to contain all the things that match the domain name. And then the second thing I need to do is create a object of smatch. Smatch is a temporary class match results of stream. And what it does is, just as the name indicates, to store the results of the match, the detailed results of the match. Then I call the function regx search string m e. What it does is, it searches inside a string with the regular expression e and saves the results in m. Now we have all the results stored. The next thing is to fetch all the results. And we do that by calling a bunch of member function of smatch. And here's how to do it. The function msize returns the number of 
matched results that's stored in M. And then I iterate through each of the match results and print them out. And at the end, I print out m.prefix and m.suffix. Now, what does the, all this mean? It's, it is better to be illustrated with example, so let's run the program. Now, I type in an email address, boq at gmail.com. So, the size function returns number 3, that means M has saved three match results. M0, which is the first result, is the entire string that has been matched by the regular expression, which is the email address. M1 is the sub first submatch, and it is the username. M2 is the second submatch, and it is the Gmail, the domain name. So. What's inside the first group is catched by the first submatch, and what's inside the second group is catched by the second submatch. Prefix and suffix are all empty strings. So what are they? Let's look at a second second example. Say we have some uh, um, tag in front of the email. Email uq at yahoo.com. And end. Now let's run it. Now the prefix is email and the suffix is the end. Now it is clear that the prefix is everything in front of the matched string and the suffix is everything after the matched string. So this is how you extract all the submatches from a regular expression. And here I have a summary of all the APIs. Last thing I want to point out is here I'm using m square bracket n dot string to fetch the uh, submatch, but there are other two ways to fetch the uh, submatch. I can do the same thing with m dot string n or m dot begin plus n and then dereference it. If we run the program, and type boq at gmail.com. As you see, every submatch is printed three times because these three are the same. That's all for today. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and see you next time.